Welcome to LEK's Lessons for Writers, a simple Scrivener tutorial. This lesson will show you how to use Scrivener for Windows. If you don't already have Scrivener, then you'll need to download it. In order to do that, go to Literature and Latte's website. You'll see on this page they have this section here that says Download Free Trial. So you can download it and you can actually, I think it's a 30 day download, um, it's actual days. It isn't like 30 days from today it's expired. It's actual days that you use the software, which is pretty neat because sometimes you may only use it every other day or once a week. So you actually get 30 days to truly try out the software before you purchase it. If you participate in NaNoWriMo, which is a once a year Actually, it's three times a year if you count Camp NaNoWriMo, but the November NaNoWriMo is once a year, and they offer a great discount on Scrivener if you win NaNoWriMo, which just means you write a certain number of words in a certain number of days. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. I think it's 50,000 words, but then they give you um, a great deal on Scrivener. I think it's something like 50% off. Anyway... So you want to download this, you'll just click on the link, download it to your um, computer, then you need to run it, run the exe file so that it can install itself. If you don't know how to do that, you can leave a comment and I will be happy to create another video showing you how to download the software. All right, in the meantime, let's go back to Scrivener, because hopefully most of you already have it installed. Okay, now here, what you're going to want to do is go to File, New Project. Now in here, there's plenty of options for you. You can create a blank project. You can go to fiction, nonfiction, script writing, or miscellaneous. For a novel, I would suggest fiction. Then you have novel, novel with parts, or short story. Novel with parts is for larger novels. That's one that has separate sections, not just a simple novel. A regular chapter novel, you're just going to want to choose novel. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to choose novel. Then in here, we're going to type in test novel as our name. I'm going to hit create. And there's already a file by that name, but I want to just write over it. So I'm going to hit yes. Okay. Now I hit the maximize button to fill the screen. Now up here, let me minimize it again so I can show you what I did. See this? right here in this uh, top right corner. You'll click that and that'll fill your screen. Now once you're in here, you go from, you'll see there's different sections over on the left hand side. You have manuscript, characters, places, front matter, and research. There's also a trash bin and templates. We're going to start with manuscript. Okay. Say you've already written your book in Word and you need to move it into Scrivener. Not a problem, you can do that. Just go to File, Import, choose Import and Split. Click on Browse. You'll know which folder your book is in. So mine is in Books, and then it's in this folder called Test Novel. So I'm going to click on Test Novel, click Open. Now, my sections are not separated by just one hashtag. There's three hashtags. So I'm going to put those in there and hit OK. All right, so now you can see Scrivener has created all my scenes here. But you'll see it runs them together. I've got scene one through five, and then I have scene one through five, and they're not in the proper folders. OK, so easy enough to fix. Hold down your shift key, go to the first scene, hold down your shift key, go down to the scene five, click on that, and then you can drag it into the first chapter. So now your scenes are where they belong. You can delete or drag to the trash folder the scene that was automatically in there because you don't need that one. Okay, now you need a second chapter folder. So to get that, you'll go... Let's close that chapter folder. Just all I did there was click on this little arrow on the left hand side and it closed it. Now I'm going to see where this plus button is here. 
I'm going to click on the little arrow next to that and choose new folder because I need another chapter. So we'll call this chapter two. Go back to the first one, change that to chapter one. You can call these whatever you want to call them. That's not important. It won't show up in your compile unless you ask it to. Okay, now drag those into chapter two. All right, so now I can open those back up so you can see them. And you'll see there's five scenes in each chapter, just the way we want them. Okay, now I have this untitled one down here. I don't want that, so I'll drag that into my trash. All right, we're good to go. We now have a manuscript with two chapters. Obviously, if there was text in these scenes, they would it would all show up. I did not put text in the scenes because this was just for a sample for you. Okay, now let's move on to characters. Once you're in your characters spot, you can create a new text for that area. So let's do that. Let's call our character Jimmy. Let's say Jimmy has red hair, blue eyes, he's about 12 years old, his mother is Jenna, his father is George, His favorite color is green. His favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip. You can put anything you need to know about Jimmy in this section. And that way, when you're in the middle of writing a scene and you can't remember what you said Jimmy's eye color was, you can quickly go back and look to see what it was. You can also drag pictures into here. So I downloaded a picture earlier from Pixabay. I'll put the link for that in the information also. But let's say I wanted to bring in that picture for Pixabay. I can click on Windows Explorer or open Windows Explorer where you ever you have that on your or File Explorer is what it's called nowadays. Click on File Explorer, and then let's find the file I need. Documents, Books, Test Novel, and here it is, Blue Eyes. Let's drag that into Jimmy's folder. Okay, so now all we need to do, now we're in Jimmy's folder, there's Jimmy. So now we know what Jimmy looks like. So Jimmy also has freckles, right? So let's put that in there. And yes, most blue-eyed, red-haired kids do have freckles. I would know. <laughs> okay, so. So, okay, so that's how you do characters. Now, another thing you might want to do is put your research right in this same folder with your manuscript. 